Right, in this video, what I want to do is find the exact area of each of these shaded regions. Okay, so let's have a look at number one. We've got y equals 6x squared plus 8, and I need to integrate it between 0 and 5 to find that area. So the integral of 6x squared plus 8 evaluated between 0 and 5. Okay, so we're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So 2x cubed, and then we're going to have 8x evaluated between 0 and 5. So I'm going to substitute the 5 in first. So we've got two lots of 5 cubed, so 250, plus 8 lots of 5, so 40. Take away substituting the 0, 0 plus 0. And so we've got 250 plus the 40 is 290. So the exact area of that region is 290. Okay? Well, that's number one. So number two, we have this cubic curve. It touches the x-axis at three, so it's got a repeated... Uh, factor of x minus 3 and it's crossing through 7 on the x-axis as well so what we're being asked to do is to integrate x cubed minus 13x squared plus 51x minus 63 and evaluate that between 3 and 7 now I'm expecting to get a negative result because it's below the x-axis and then whatever result I get I can make positive and that will be the exact area so add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so 1 quarter x to the 4 minus 13 thirds x cubed plus 51 halves x squared minus 63x and evaluate that between 3 and 7. All right, let's open up a couple of brackets. So we have 1 quarter of 7 to the 4, so 2,401 over 4. Then we've got take away 13 thirds of uh, 7 cubed. So take away 4, 4, 5, 9 over 3. Then we've got 51 halves times 7 squared. So I'm going to need a little bit more room. Uh, so plus 2, 4, 9, 9 over 2. And then take away 63 lots of 7. So take away 441. Okay, so now substituting in the 3, so we've got 1 quarter uh, times by 3 to the power of 4. So 81 quarters. Take away, so we've got 13 thirds times by 3 cubed. So 117. Then we've got 51 halves times by 3 squared. So that's uh, 4, 5, 9 over 2. And then we've got 63 times by 3. So take away 189. Right. Okay, so in the first bracket, we have... And then plus 2, 4, 9, 9 over 2. Then take away 441. We get minus 931 over 12. In the second bracket, we get minus 225 over 4. So in total, we get minus 64 thirds. So the exact area is positive 64 thirds. Okay, so that one's a little bit messy, okay, but remember you can do all your the bits that you need to do in the calculator. Right, let's have a look at the last one. So, number three, um, we actually now have a curve y equals x squared minus 2x plus 8 and a straight line y equals 11. So really what I want to do is I want to figure out the x values of where these two things intersect. Okay? 
So, in order to do that, I'm going to have to put the x squared minus 2x plus 8 equal to the 11 to figure out where these two, uh, the line and the curve intersect. So I'm going to subtract the 11 from both sides. This gives me a quadratic that I can factorise. So I can read off from that that either the x is 3 or the x is minus 1. So this point must be minus 1, that point must be 3. So my target now is that if I work out the area of that rectangle, I can subtract the area between the curve and the x-axis, and that's found through integration. So, integrating uh, between minus 1 and 3, the x squared minus 2x plus 8. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So, right, substituting in the 3, so 1 third, right, so 1 third of 27 is 9, take away 3 squared, uh, then 8 lots of 3 is 24, substituting the minus 1, we're going to get minus 1 third, we're going to get take away 1, and then we're going to take away 8. So, we're going to have 24 in the first bracket. And then we've got minus one third, take one, take eight. So minus 28 thirds in the second bracket. So 24 plus 28 over three is 100 thirds. Right, so this region here is 100 over three. Okay, the area between the curve and the x-axis is 100 over 3. So to work out the shaded region, I need to have the area of that rectangle. So the area that I want is equal to the area of this rectangle, which is 4 wide and a height of 11. So 4 lots of 11. And then take away that area I've just found. So 44 take away 100 over 3 is 32 thirds, and that is the shaded region there, that's the area of the shaded region.